All right, no more tea. I appreciate you guys for tuning in, man. Put your mind to all your goals, grind, sacrifice, putting the time, putting the effort, and you're gonna see them unfold right in front of your eyes, y'all. They said these strong would never play football like him, bro. But we about to make a dream come true. It's crazy. He's a former UCF kicker and YouTube star who's had his scholarship revoked now. Oh yeah, we got a dip, bro. We got a dip. Let's run. Is there is there any kind of light at the end of the tunnel for you on this? Honestly, I'm a positive guy, and I see tons of light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, we're running through the six. We're about Wallace. Hey man, we in Toronto, bro. We just landed. We about to be out here in Toronto getting money, man. You feel me? Uh, I don't know. We'll see where it take us, man. The guy's catching balls like Odell Beckham Jr. Yes. Why is he a kicker? He should be a wide receiver. You know Odell is <laughs> taking offense to that right now. But. You need to show some respect <laughs> to kickers. All right. <laughs> hey, we we going through training camp right now, so they got us in the little dorm style rooms. We're at York University right now. No cap, this should remind me of being back at school, bro. Explain to us, Donald, how this came to a head, and you had to make this decision between playing football and creating your videos. I mean, I live by a quote, ten toes down, and that basically means you know you stand firm for what you believe in. Destroying is no longer just a YouTuber, no longer just an ex-college football player. I'm so happy I could cry right now, bro. Not only did I just become the first YouTuber to become pro, but it's all good, man. I'm thankful for this opportunity, bro. We're freaking in Toronto, bro. If you haven't smashed that like button yet, I don't know what's wrong with you. I tried to turn the air on earlier, but it's in here. Unless I'm trying to lose my hand, I have not put my fingers in there, bro. They got me all the way messed up. But it's all good, man. Thank you to Toronto Argonauts, bro, for this opportunity. I am so grateful for them to bring football back into my life, bro. I'm ready to work. I'm ready to focus. I'm ready to be committed. I'm ready to give my 110% to this team. I'm ready to make some banger videos, too. <laughs> Anyways, with that said, bro, it's time to get serious, bro. Ain't no more games being played, bro. We're professional. We got to act professional. So one thing that means is I'm going to cut down on the cussing. I know I cuss a lot, but I got to hold myself to higher standards. I can't be out here potty mouthing. So y'all is going to see less cussing on this channel. It might slip here and there, but I'm trying to be professional, serious, real destroying now. You feel me? I'm going to keep it real with y'all, but you know, I'm going to keep it real clean at the same time. Keep me electric Oh, it's good, man. It's day two. I don't know. I got this type of energy today. This type of glow. This type of aura around me where I'm thankful for where I'm at, bro. And I'm so happy to be here, bro. I went downstairs to get breakfast earlier. I met a few of the teammates and they cool. They're like, oh, yeah, we seen you this and that. Turns out I knew some of these boys, man, that's out here. And we about to go to the field in a little bit. First, we got to stop at the locker room. You know, I got to see the locker room. This is the shoe game I brought out here to Canada. I brought these brand new uh, Eddie Zero 5.0s, I think. They're going to match the uniforms real clean. I brought the, the lightning bolts. These never let me down. And of course, the triple black snake scan 5,000. Gonna go drop this off in the locker room, get some working on the field, you know, probably catch some balls, run some routes, kick some punts, whatever. It don't matter. I'm down to get any type of work, man. And uh, again, be thankful for whatever situation you're in, man. Make the most of it. Work hard. Stay motivated. Stay optimistic because the grind don't stop, man. And shit, the grind really actually about to begin right now. So that rock. This is just the first step, bro. The first step of many. But by no means does that mean anything is handed to me. Like, I'm in here, there's people competing for the job that I'm competing for. They brought in five other people. That means we gotta be focused, dedicated, motivated, remain 10 toes down, shopdestroy.com, go get it, to hopefully win that spot. Nothing is handed to you in this life. Not a single thing, bro. You gotta work for everything. So I'm out here and we gotta earn the starting spot. The roster basically is like 44, 45 active players. 21 of them have to be Canadian. 20 of them could be American and I think three is like international or something like that. I'm not too sure. But all I know is I'm an American and I'm fighting for one out of them 20 spots basically. This is no joke. So like I said, I'm focused. I'm working hard. I'm mentally locked in. I'm 10 toes down and it's just time to work. Y'all know we've been working, but by no means do I ease up off the gas and you know, chill and just cruise. Now we gotta step on it. Oh my fault, I cussed. We gotta step on that thing. I'm looking around trying to find my locker, but I can't seem to find it. Low key, I probably don't even have a locker yet. LeBron James, number 6'9. <laughs> Shit ain't in here either. I need a locker room tour, bro. Locker room or locker? The locker tour. This MTV oh, Cribs locker MTV edition. MTV Cribs locker edition. My helmet. Oh man, that's fire. Uh, we got, got the vibes and everything. Okay, okay. 
Gotta look fresh. Shoulder pads up top. Jersey. Yeah, right. Everything else cleats at the bottom. Hey man, thanks for the tour, bro. Hey, I appreciate it. Anytime. Thank you, man. Anytime, Thank you. Man. I don't even got a locker yet, bro. I gotta wait. Once I do, I'm gonna give you all the tour. You feel me? Because right now, this is my locker, bro. <laughs> no. <laughs> Anyways, on my first day here, bro, we got our rooms, of course, and then we had to get our equipment. I got my helmet. I got my pads. Man, it feels good to put that stuff on, bro. These feel good, right? These You tell me. I'm you're wearing them. Man, they feel good. Can you kick the ball? That's a Perfect. I can't explain to y'all how that feels, bro. I was ready to break down and cry, dog. Putting on my pads for the first time, bro. Like, it was surreal. I remember back in high school getting my pads, and I remember back at UCF getting my pads, and man, it really signified, like, this is about to start. This is real, like, it's not a joke, bro. You pinch yourself. You're a professional now. Oh, man, they gave me number 18, bro. I like it. You know, I'm not picky about a number at all. Don't get it regardless. Of course, y'all know me, bro. I told y'all I'm focused. I'm grinding. I'm ten toes down. Shopdestroy.com, go get it. Ready to work. Y'all know I had to show up early, hit the field, you know, test it out, see how them Canadian winds was blowing, how them altitudes and, and longitudes, latitudes. And so I had to hit the field and get some pre- Camp work in. Yo, it's fucking cold out here, dog. Well, now this perfect football weather. I know as soon as I warm up, it's gonna feel love. Bro. What you feel me? I gotta warm up and then really start booting these things, man. Nice to have a, a little day to come out here and kind of test the leg. It looks like the real deal. And I didn't even fully warm up. I just started kicking. That's one habit I have to break. I'm always so eager and anxious to kick that I forget to do it, but. Like I said, they they could cut me. They could get rid of me. By no means do they have to keep me. If I don't perform up to standards and beat the other guys out, then I don't make the team. Simple as that. And I go back home to Florida and, you know, keep working hard and try to make another team or something. But that's not what we want, man. We're here on a mission and we're here to complete some and we're here to achieve some. So we're working hard, man. I oh, man, something like Something light, easy, quick, and easy. Me and that boy DC about to run some what? Two hunts. You ready for this camp journey? Hell yeah. The team's in Toronto, but they took us on kind of like the outskirts of Toronto, like the outside, not the whole city. I know Toronto's a big, bustling, booming city. So they took us on the outskirts to a place called York University, and they have us in the dorms so we can stay focused. Everything we need is within 500 square feet. So they want us focused, they want us locked in, they want us ready to go, but no distractions. So we at this York University, and basically this is my room, y'all. I miss Kiki the goat, man. I miss her food, her cooking, my family, my friends. I miss Hersey shooting videos with him. I miss Beans, Troy. Being outside of your comfort zone, being in these outside environments just makes you stronger, builds your character, makes you a stronger, man. If you could overcome situations like this, then you could overcome anything in life. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I am not gonna lie. And I'm low key low in my feelings right now. I'm feeling a little tiny homesick. I don't get homesick a lot, but I'm homesick right now. I'm missing my girl more than anything, dog. I'm at camp, so I gotta be a man. I got them emotions right now, bitch. Matter of fact, I'm gonna call her and see what she's doing. Hey. I'm going to the bathroom. You in the bathroom? Hey, say what's up to the vlog. Oh my god, don't show me. <laughs> oh man, what's good? It's your boy. Yes, we're back at the field for a second time today. And that's what I'm talking about, baby. We ten toes down out here, bro. If you really ten toes down, you'd cop one of these hoodies. If you really ten toes down, you'd work every chance you get. If you really ten toes down, you believe in yourself no matter what. So shopdestroying.com, go get you your ten toes down hoodie. Anyways, yeah, we at the field for a second time today. And we just had a special teams meeting where coach kind of introduced everything and kind of briefed us on how the special teams game is different here in Canada than it is down south. I guess that's what they say down south mean in America and the NFL and stuff like that. There's a lot of differences. For example, did you know if you kick a field goal and miss, but it goes out the back of the end zone, which the end zone is 20 yards by the way, but if it goes out the back of the end zone, you still make a point. What? Yeah, I know. So trying to boot every single ball, you feel me? Even if it's a miss, we can make points off of it. But anyways, man, I want to talk to you guys about something important. Obviously, you made it through this video, so you know I'm getting a CFL opportunity. This is the life now, man. Argonauts gave me a shot. You know, with a little explanation, I'm basically going to clarify this whole situation to you guys who may not know. Yes, I am out here in Canada right now, ready to play for this team, and I'm going to give it all I got. But no, by any means, doesn't mean I have made the team. I'm here for training camp, which is two weeks. There's other kickers here and other punters here, 
and we're competing. Competition breeds success. So y'all know I'm hungry, I want it all. I'm willing to work as hard as I can. I'm willing to be 10 toes down, believe in myself and go hard. Who cares about these 1.3 million? Who cares about all the stuff on social media? Who care about the followers, none of this? This is big ball now. You come in here and you earn what you deserve. You come in here, you earn what you work for. They're not gonna hand me no spot. So I'm out here just working every single day, man. Every day, this is the second time out here today. Camp ain't even start yet. Camp starts in two days, so. You know, I'm basically diving head first into my craft and I want to be the best kicker, punter, specialist. I just want to be the best at whatever I do, man. So thank you guys for all the support, bro. Thank you guys for everything. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just super happy. Man, thank you to God for this blessing and for this opportunity and for everything he's about to put in my life because all y'all been rocking with me. Y'all have seen me come from a regular student athlete to UCF to almost losing it all, to working my ass off and getting to where I am today to now about to make shit happen, bro. We ain't preaching about this no more. We actually living it, bro. So subscribe, like the video if you haven't yet. And we basically about to get this work. Bro. I'm back on this paper route. Focused on me and whatever gonna fill up my bank account. Stacking my chips to my check as if it were a crazy mouth.